Magic mushrooms for depression? You best believe it, son. Hey everyone, welcome back to the News. I'm Lacey Green, and this is Professor David Nutt. He's a former drug czar that worked on the Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs in the UK. But after claiming that ecstasy and LSD were neurologically less dangerous than alcohol, and that we should find more accurate ways to classify the harms of illegal and legal drugs, he was given the boot. But he's still kicking. The doctor now works at Imperial College London as a professor of neuropsychopharmacology, which is perhaps the fanciest field I've ever heard heard of. Now he's researching psychedelic mushrooms, aka shrooms, or psilocybin, as a way to treat depression. He already published one study in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, and what he found was that in healthy, non-depressed volunteers, shrooms switch off the anterior cingulate cortex, or the ACC. Relevant fact, an overactive ACC has been linked to things like social anxiety and major depression. The mushrooms also quieted the part of the brain responsible for introspection, thinking about yourself in the future, the default mode network. In depressed people, this area is overactive as well, so they're ruminating, stewing on their own inadequacy and worthlessness to an obsessive point. This overactivity is an illness that actually removes people from reality, and the research suggests that the mushrooms block the obsessive activity. Volunteers felt much happier in the weeks after using shrooms, so, you know, drugs make people happy. Who's surprised? Nobody? Okay. But what we have here is an incomplete story, because like it might help out now, but what about the future? Maybe mushrooms have other negative effects on the brain. And what about the effects on actual depressed people? This is why clinical trials are needed, but those are being blocked by a shit storm of red tape. To administer drugs to patients, you need to actually have the drug. And the British government's like, nah, -uh, that is an illegal class A drug. Illegal, as in serious business, even for scientists. The government has made it so difficult to obtain licenses for psilocybin that for an amount that would usually cost a few hundred pounds, chemical production companies want 100,000 pounds. Now, the dude seems pissed. He's like had it up to here with the government. He said the whole field is so bedeviled by primitive, old-fashioned attitudes. Even if you have a good idea, you may never get into the clinic, it seems. He does make you think. Good drug, bad drug. How do we decide which is which? There are all sorts of drugs and chemicals being used, both legally and illegally, that do all kinds of crazy things to your brain. Should neuroscientists be allowed to take a closer look at those things, or is this just badness waiting to happen? You tell me in the comments below, and hit subscribe to catch more D-News.